regardless of your mechanical ability, as long as you have a passion for droids, this is where you need to be. This is the Droid Depot here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And here to help us build the droid of our dreams is my friend Tracy. Tracy, there's a lot of parts on this conveyor belt. Yes, but you can come in a novice and you're gonna leave an expert. I'm gonna take you through the whole thing. Okay, well, let's do it, show me. Okay, so you have an opportunity to build an R series or a BB series here, okay. but what we're gonna build today is an R series. So this basket that you have actually helps you to identify which kind of parts that you need to pick. Oh. So you're gonna need a dome. Here's your first one that you can pick. So you get a dome like the red one, blue, purple, anything you want off it. Like that's the a BB dome. Oh, wrong dome. See, but that's okay because we're novices. Which dome? Yeah. You need like the little bit of the larger domes is where you're gonna go so for like the that? Uh, right like these. This guy. Yep. Oh, I like that. He looks like R2D2. Yep. So okay. he, then you need a canister. So that's gonna be How your about base. this one? Yep, that works. You just point and I'll grab. Okay, <laughs> and then you're gonna need two additional parts. You're gonna need a uh, these legs. Okay, so one. And then you're going to need, do you see these little little, little, little tiny legs? Nope, like nope. this one? That, like like yeah. that one? There you go, you got it. This is like fishing. This is fun. Exactly. Okay. So now you have everything this you good? need. So you're gonna take your basket and we're gonna go to a build station. Okay. So now that you have all of these parts, now you're gonna build. This is the fun part. You add the legs on and your domes on. You have screwdrivers. Tools. All right. Do you trust me? Oh, I think so. I think <laughs> okay. you can handle it. Okay. But then once you have it built, you're going to bring your droid to life. And how you do that is you put it in the activation station. Oh, cool. So now we have one pre-built. And what you're going to do is, who doesn't love to push a blinking button? You're going to actually push the button. Right now? Yeah, push okay. it now. And then you're going to start to see this whole thing light up. And it's the process of building and come, your droid and coming to oh, life. Oh, wow. So it's priming. Yep. Oh, now we're preparing. Yes. Oh, Who's see? You're signaling. starting to get movement. <gasps> In your droid. He's coming alive! He's coming to life. This is so exciting! So formatting. This is a good time to think about a name for your droid. Okay. Because you can name it whatever you want it to be. You can also further customize it as well. So there's lots of other when you go yeah, so you have this here, but we have personality sound shifts, we have stickers, we have different kind of a pack, so you can continue to take the customization even when you go home. So we build it, but that's not the end, that's actually the beginning. Because like you're saying, you can actually personalize it. So you can give yes. its own little personality. Yep. So I understand this too interacts in the park as well, It right? does interact in the park. So you can take this around, it's gonna beep and boop and make ah. the dome's gonna move. But if you wanted to change your personality shifts, and we have first order, we have resistance oh, and smuggler, way. you just get one, you put it into the port there, and then the personality of your droid will change. So as you walk around, the experience is different for your droid. That is so super cool. Oh, I, I think he likes it too. I wanna name him Buddy. Think, is, I, I mean, love it. Is that a, is that a droid name? Buddy? You would eat anything. I'm going to name mine Gertrude, so you can Gertrude, name your There you go, right? Gertrude and Buddy. Okay, so if people want to come here to the Droid Depot, give some advice. Should they plan ahead? Do you suggest that they go online and look before they come? Well, it's really this is about your own journey. So okay. if you want the Droid, you want to build your Droid and come and then come around the land, that's great. If you want to come a little bit later in the day, like go, go on the Smuggler's Run, go to the Cantina and come here and build, and that's what you want to do, that's fine too. It's really what you want to do for your day. It's the experience you want to have with your droid. If you want to kind of go with you on the journey here on Batu, then come obviously early, build him, and take him along, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I absolutely love it. Where can people go for more information? They can go to uh, Disneyland.com. Disneyland.com, and I imagine probably checking out the blog is a good idea too, right? Oh, you can always, the blog's so always best much on the blog. How many droids have you built, Tracy? I, well, I am not a master builder yet. I'm almost there, but I have built quite a few, and um, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> do, do you think she's a good builder? I, I think, I, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that the, the head this way is also a yes, too. So, so buddy, thanks for a good builder, Tracy. I love I, it. Thank I feel you, buddy. Like my heart. Yes, there you go. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Everyone, make sure you check it out again. This is the Droid Depot at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. You can go to Disneyland.com. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.